Leo, we talked about it this morning. I mean, 2,500 wins for the franchise. As soon as you guys get it, the graphic goes up on the screen. I know this is your first year, but what does that mean to you? Yeah, amazing. I, you look at the crowd, there's, you know, 9,000 people here. Uh, the support um, from the community, the organization, and uh, glad we got the W tonight. Exactly. Just, just what have you seen from him this season? When he's he's playing well, he's moving the puck. Um, you know, he has a. I was even talking to the staff about it today. A quiet uh, seven points. Uh, he makes really good decisions with the puck. He's competitive. Um, you know, he's he's been a huge uh, piece to our decor back there. And then when you can provide that that offense from the back end and transport pucks and get into our forward group, that's really skilled. Um, He's a winning hockey player. He means a lot to this team, and he's playing great hockey right now. Crazy what a month, month and a half can do. Constant Hellenius. I mean, he doesn't look like a guy who's coming over from Europe trying to adjust anymore. In the goal, I, I, you know, I talked to him on the bench right after the goal. It was a, he had a huge D zone face off. Um, he stopped in the house, uh, got a stick, won a battle, and then gets rewarded for playing the right way. He's. Uh, He's a really good player. He's going to be a really good player for a long time. Um, his play away from the puck for an 18-year-old kid is is really good. Uh, he's responsible. He's got a really quick release. Um, as we talked about before, he's getting his shots off now, as you can see. Where early in the season, he was a lot of deflections, and uh, he's playing the game faster from the offensive blue line in, and he's done a great job for us. Ask about Felix Sandstrom. He looked like there was head contact. Is it upper body? Did yeah, upper body. I'll have to reevaluate after the game. I'm not sure right now, but it was um, a tough play. You know, anytime a guy runs at your goalie, uh, tough. But the guys responded in a big way. It's, uh, you know, we use the term one goals, we all go. And I really liked how the team came together after that. You understand it sometimes when there's like, you know, a guy driving to the net with a puck, but this was, there was yeah, nothing there tough. except was, a goalie and a player. It was tough. They, uh, you know, they got to a certain point where, you know, they got big, heavy guys who were, you know, running around. I thought we did a really good job defending ourselves and sticking up for each other. Um, that's a credit to the group and the leadership. Um, it's unfortunate that plays happen like that in a game. Um, but uh, oh, hopefully he uh, he's all right after that. Do you want the lead to do something? Uh, they'll have to. Yeah, I'm not... I haven't seen it on video yet, but from the replay, it looked like a bad play. It's out of our hands, and we'll see what happens. Do you need a goalie to find a goalie for tomorrow? Most. And on that, just the you know they were playing heavy. They had some big guys, and Alenius seemed to have a target. Yet yeah, he even threw it. They even like at the end, you know, the, he's physically engaged. Uh, you know he. He, he doesn't shy away from contact. He wants to be first on the puck, and he's he's fearless for it. You know, he has a he has a swagger to him in a, in a good way. Of he's very confident in himself and in his game, and he he doesn't shy away from contact. He's not the same this morning. Then. He knows he has you know, a lot of points already, but he, he can be better. Do, do, do you like that he that he just doesn't accept that you know he's playing well because he has some stats? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it's the inner drive that you want to have in, in, uh, as a player. It says a lot about him. I think he holds himself to a, a certain standard. And uh, he felt he probably wasn't playing to that standard, even though he's been good. I thought he took his game to another level tonight. I thought he led. Uh, that line was really good. Um, makes a couple highlight real plays on the power play. Even the last goal, I like how he got to the net. We talked about that. It was really important with their big heavy D to get at the net. And, um, you know, he it says a lot about him. You know, it's not about the points. It's about his play away from the puck. And I, I think that's the biggest thing that he realizes. Um, not that he was bad. It just you like guys to hold themselves to a certain standard. And he's he's one of those guys. Is, you know, six in a row a mirage or is this, the, you know, the real deal? You know, it's just one game at a time. You just got to keep keep playing the right way. I think if you look at even the preseason games where we played to these first 10 games, I think we have established of, uh, 
identity and standard that we want to play with. We're, when we play smart, we play hard um, and fast. We're, we're, we're really hard to play against. And if you just look at what we're generating, um, didn't like the third period. I thought it was got away from us a little bit, a little, you know, we weren't playing predictable, but, um, you know, I, I like where the group at, is at. You know, we play extremely hard. Um, like I said before, it's a skilled group, but when you watch us play, there's one people that, that we play the game the right way, and it's hard, and it's competitive. And I think that's that's what we're doing right now. Um, enjoy this one tonight. we got a big one tomorrow. And you said earlier, I mean, maybe it was the fourth game, but you said we were playing the right way in the first Yeah, no, no, we, we were. We were. We just look at... Uh, you know the reports that come back, uh, the analytics report, and, and what we're what we're giving up to what we're generating. If if you continue to even the games, I go back to those games where we were at Toronto. We had, I think it says a lot about the group. That our second periods have been a lot better. Um, you know we had two nothing leads in both of those games, and we played really good hockey. A um, couple mistakes. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's the identity we want to have with this with this group. And guys get rewarded for you keep doing the right thing over and over. You ultimately get rewarded. Um, and and our guys are playing a lot of winning hockey right now. And I think they're starting to understand what that looks like. There's certain situations that happen in a game where you might not have it, um, might not get to our game, but we're doing a really good job of managing those moments, whether it's a D zone shift to get out of a D zone shift, where we get a puck in, we get a puck out, we get a big block. And that's a recipe for success. Um, but I can't say it enough that when we don't have the puck and we're pressuring pucks, we're a really hard team to play against. Tom Ralph update? Uh, he's okay. He's okay. A uh, high stick. Leo, you talk about analytics. I don't know if this is more quantitative than just analytics, but you lead the league in shots on goal on average, and you give up, I think, fifth fewer shots. What do those stats mean? Yeah, I, I think it's just we were a couple of things. We're getting out of our zone fast. We're playing north, uh, and we have possession a lot. We're making really good decisions with the puck. We're we're, we're getting over pucks in the old zone. I call them hope plays. You don't see a lot of just blind passes in net where we're over pucks. Where our, our focus is when we don't have the puck, get it back. We want to have a great first man, great second man, uh, quicker than theirs. And we talk about those things all the time, and we've been doing a really good job of that. And when you do those things, you're, you're, you look up at the scoreboard and we're, we're out shooting teams um, and it's a credit to the guys for buying in the way we want to play the game.